Hi everyone, it's me Sandy, back with another um, a small Dollarama haul, and that was just done the other day, and then the Dollar Tree haul was done at the end of uh, February, before the March 1st uh, challenge came on. So anyway, here's my doggy AJ, she's a little bit of a trim. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Oh no, you're not going to stay here for cuddles. Say bye everyone, say bye bye. Can you look? Okay, let's put her down. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to start with the Dollarama I went to the other day. And I just got things that I needed, that I've been looking for for a while. And I got these wooden embellishments, each $2 a box. And uh, there's uh, 45 pieces, so aren't they nice? No, you get up on the couch yourself. I'm not lifting you. Then I got this, which would be for cakes cake decorate or for hauling a cake around but AJ stop it okay so I t and I put two of these containers in there and I'm going to put my little containers of sequins and gems and all that in there and carry them around like that well when I go out crafting with my friends AJ excuse me oh she gets into everything then I got this gorgeous paper pad that I've been looking for I keep my eyes open always for the paper pads because you just don't know when they're going to come in. And it's really pretty paper. Let's see if I can give you a good look. But I love that one. I love the print on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And so there's that printed one. And oh boy. This, okay, here we go this way. And... Yeah, so I think there's three pages of each, maybe four, but I really like that with the birds. Pretty, pretty. So I got that. So that was my little Dollarama haul, the smallest I've ever done at Dollarama. I usually am 40 to $60 when I go to Dollarama, and when I go to Dollar Tree, I can be anywhere from 40 to $50, $60. So now I'm going to go into my Dollar Tree haul. And I picked up this vase, which I think is so pretty. I like the greens. And then I picked up two of these. And that one, okay, oh, yeah, that was a dollar twenty-five. Okay, and look at it. It comes with bulbs attached. Aren't they pretty? So I just kind of threw them in here for now. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, but I think they're pretty. This is a repeat for me. I buy these, and they're a nice size. They are 10 high, no, 10 wide, or depth, I guess, 11 wide, 10 inches high. But I put my yarn in them. I put my big rolls of burlap. Um, it holds all kinds of things. You can get back on the couch. Get up there. This is a repeat buy. Love, love, love these. I've been buying them for several years now. They're, they're as good, if not better, than the ones that you make by scratch. You get on that couch yourself. Go on. I wanted one more of these in the purple. I only had, I think, two others, and I, I just love the purple. I like putting it in with the green ones. So I got that. Papers, premium paper, 25 sheets. So there's five of each of those colors. Again, pretty patterns. Picked up some mini birds. He's sweet. I'm going to incorporate those into a little fairy garden. I'm going to change out my fairy garden and do a little different. Picked up some toothbrushes. Every time we have colds and that, we throw away our old toothbrush and start anew. Got some more of these jewels. I think they're pretty. Picked up these poster paints. They're in the glitter. I think they always look nice just as a decorative touch on something. Okay, craft sticks, packed to 60. I have the popsicle sticks. I got bags of popsicle, but I don't have these wide ones. Look at that. Picked up some little wood dowels. Again, that's going to be into go into my fairy garden. Picked up some... Gee, I'm sorry to be looking down. You see my stripe on my head. I have to get my hair colored, or I do it myself. Silver and a pretty blue those are so pretty just like a little shimmering effect on some wings or something 
she's she's barking and growling because I put something on the couch and uh, yeah, she doesn't like that. Picked up another little box for storing my whatever's in there, buttons and, and that. Just have to be careful when you that they don't come out into from pocket to pocket. No, oh no, it won't. Not in that one. Got some liquid adhesive. I'm gonna try this one. I haven't tried it. I always use that uh, Aileen. They're Aileen, Aileen's, I guess. But I'm gonna try this one and see how well it uh, it does. I bought these last fall in the states, and I saw I saw them up here. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna get myself a box of those. Got myself ooh, some weights. No, a bag of um, white gravel rock. Oh gee, I hope that's somebody not coming here. The dog will start barking. Picked up this little toy for our, our little granddaughter, the little one and a half year old. She loves pushing buttons. So there's like a siren, um, a dog barking, a fart. Can you believe that? A whistle. A laugh. My dog. Get up there, AJ. So I don't think. I don't. And then this and this one. A burp. So between the fart and the burp, I don't think I'm going to be giving that to my little granddaughter. I don't think mommy would appreciate it. I know my son would probably see some humor in it, but nah, the six-year-old would just take it off with it and start being silly, so. And the last things I got were these nice gnomes. Now, this is the size of gnome that I've been looking for to put out in my outdoor gnome garden because I've got some bird houses that I'm going to change over into little gnome huts or houses. So, and I'm going to spray them with a sealer for the, for the summer, you know, the rain and that. So I got him... And he's carrying a pickaxe. Then I got oh, all this paper. Then I got this little fella, and he's got a rake. He's got a rake, but they're nice. They're a nice size. For a dollar twenty-five. Hey. Oh, I picked up a mushroom. Because you can't have a garden without a mushroom in it. Well, around here you can't. Okay, and this one is. And he's resting on his shovel. So when I put the sealer on it, I put a gloss sealer. And it kind of really brings out the colors in them. And then the last one is... He's got the watering jug. So he'll be, he'll be put where the alyssum is, where I plant the alyssum in that. Aren't they pretty? So that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching and please comment and like. And if you haven't already subscribed, click on the subscribe and then the little bell beside it, which will alert you when I bring on or put on new videos. So again, we'll see you next time. Bye.